Hello everyone and welcome to another timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at turn 1 Vein Ripper Vampire deck in timeless format. And I wanted to check out this Vein Ripper because this card just kind of flew over my head. And it's actually mega busted if you think about it. Especially if you can get it out with Soren as early as turn 1. Even just getting it out on turn 2 or 3. Which this deck can do with the Death Rise Shaman. You can play this out on turn 2 as well. But if you can get this down, it is just unbelievable. Now they have to sacrifice a creature if they want to get rid of this card. And if they don't have it, then... And they're also kind of screwed as well. And you can even respond to opponent trying to remove this card with your removal spell as well. That just means that now they don't have a sacrifice target. Then the removal spell just gets countered. But besides getting the Soren out on turn 1, there's also turn 1 Preacher of the Schism, which is also quite insane for having a 2-4 body. And not only that, this is also going to just constantly generate either 1-1s one or draw you a card every single turn. But like I said, the 4 toughness on this thing is what makes this card quite absurd because now it doesn't die to a Lightning Bolt. So the only way to get rid of this is having a Fatal Push in your deck. But you see more Lightning Bolts in the main deck instead of the fatal push if given the choice so this card by itself is actually quite amazing in this format so with that said i'm gonna be hopping over to some timeless best of three to show you guys how the deck does so let's hop on over is that a keep i don't know like this is gonna be pretty hard to deal with right Like, I, I think it's going to be pretty hard. Like, unless they have a exactly um, a fatal push from a fetch land. I think it's going to be pretty hard to deal with. Like, Bolt doesn't even answer this card. Which is kind of ridiculous. The fact that it has Death Touch is also pretty nice. What does that shock mean? What is that shock? That's so nice. That is so nice. Um, so I'll play shaman and pass. So this is a Bowmaster this time. Uh, also, there's a very good chance they have um, a Blood Moon sitting in their hand, so... I'm gonna go for Double Swamp. Double Swamp Arena. So let's kill the Orcish Bowmaster. Just so gas. It's so gas. Like, my God. I think I have another swamp. I misclicked. I misclicked. The forest was right on top of the black. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Do they have another one? Do they have another Bowmaster? Let's see. So funny thing is, I don't know if it actually works the way I think it does. So 
if I go to, so it says whenever, right, you have most life or tied for most life. So if I go to, does that work? Okay, it still draws. I was just wondering. Okay, so let's dot seize you. Let's get rid of a Minx and Boo. Let's play... I guess another Preacher. There's 20 lands in the graveyard. We need a Soren. So something I learned, uh, this happens when you do it right then and there. Okay, so opponent got really punished for not doing the questing druid on their turn. Yeah, Tarmo go if we don't care about. We have so many death touch creatures, right? attack. Yep, Tarmogoy if we don't really care about too much. Like it's okay. This creature is so sick. It's actually kind of maddening how good it is. I didn't expect that. Okay, so let us attack with the preacher here. No blocks. Interesting. Very interesting. There's that Giganta. Um, I guess they're out of cars right now, so. Opponent goes to three. They're still not dead. Yeah, they're not dead. They have to do a really weird block though. A fatal push? Oh, I guess they thought the uh, Kikijiki didn't have didn't have summoning sickness. 
I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like the turn one preacher won us the game. Yeah, I kind of feel like the turn one preacher won us, won us this game. Do we have the win? Uh, they have four blockers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're dead, right? So I can't attack with a preacher because I'm gonna um I'm gonna draw a card. They're gonna copy the bowmaster, but they're still dead. And then we get to play this. Um this is going to die at the end of the turn. Whenever a creature dies, target opponent loses two life. Yeah, they have five lockers. End the turn. That was a correct lethal there. Bane Ripper at the end with the Hiki Jiki trigger. So yeah, so they're playing Blood Moon. Um, we don't really care about Blood Moon, so let's get that out. Play a copy of an Unholy Heat. Might even play Kali Toss, honestly. Might even play Kali Toss. Or maybe this is just fine. Yeah, let's just go. Um, opponent's going first. I have to be pretty careful. Oh no. Oh no. This could be disastrous for our opponent. Let's see if they have a removal spell. Bolt, yup. I could have also just passed with a bolt up as well. Mon land me. Another bolt. Into a veil of summer. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. GG's, I guess. That's always fun. Hot seas. I think opponent's dead. Yeah, opponent's just dead. Yeah, 
Wow, what a card. Opponent actually obliterated. Actually obliterated. We will stomp out evil. Jesus. This was just a slaughter. This was a slaughter. <laughs> wow. What a game. That was insane. I'm a believer now. I was really hesitant. So I was actually like, hmm, is this, is this actually going to be that good? Like, Vein Ripper? Is this really going to be playable? And it actually is kind of insane, especially if you can get it... Like, think about getting this down on turn one. Like, we didn't even do that. We didn't even do that. This was like a turn three Soren. Turn one Preacher. Turn one Preacher. That seems pretty good. That seems really good, actually. Oh, it's um, it's a Titan deck, so it's gonna be a little bit tough, I think. Yeah, unless it's um. Soren into a Vein Ripper. I'm not sure if this is fast enough. Because this is a value card, right? This is a value card. That is uh, ridiculously hard to get rid of. I need like a Thought Seize or something like that. That'd be nice. Did my opponent like actually take some damage? Might be over if they have a um, natural order. I also took out a blood moon in the main deck as well, so we only have one blood moon in the um, entire sideboard. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go as well. Oh wow. That was good. That was really good. What a draw there. That Thought Seize was really good. Ah, they have another... Um... I guess it's just... Titan, right? So that they can't play it, even if they are Struage Farm here. So even if they are Struage Charm um, for a Titan, they can't technically play the Titan next turn. Yeah, so there you go. They gotta tighten down. Although this thing flies, maybe that's gonna actually matter. We need to find something juicy. A bowmaster? Also a pretty interesting one. I think I'm supposed to play a fable. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'm supposed to play a Fable here. I wonder if I'm supposed to kill the Kami. Yeah, I wonder if I'm supposed to kill the Kami here. Three, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm actually supposed to... I hope we get a land next turn. Yeah, I hope we get a land. We found a land. I think we won. Because they can't block, right? I think they're dead. Wait, does it say non-token? No, it says a creature. Okay, okay. That's actually kind of sweet because Vayne Ripper just wins the game by itself against the stack. I had I haven't really thought about that, but. Yeah, that's insane, is it not? Okay, hopefully this goes well. I think this matchup should be easy. It should be in the bag, at least I think it is. Hmm, such a safe hand, you know? Such a safe hand. Like, nothing too crazy going on, but I guess it's still a decent hand. Yeah, I, I don't think I can mulligan this hand, like... That's a turn to Soren. Like, you can't really complain about that, right? It's just, we don't, we don't have a Ripper yet. So, in our scenario, we want to draw a Ripper, Blood Moon, Ashiok right now, um... Even a Preacher? So many cards. So many cards we can draw. That's super relevant right now. But we draw land. But we draw land. I don't think running out Soren does anything. We should just wait. But do they have a natural order though? That's also a question. Oh man. We flooded. Six lands. 
fixada. Gigantic Sada. I probably should have done this. I, I was thinking about sacrificing this to a 0 1, but I feel like we should just keep the Gifted Etherborn in case a uh, Primal Titan attacks. Yeah, we just couldn't find anything, huh? I feel like that's the kind of matchup this is, though. You kind of just want a mulligan for a hate card. Maybe. And you just kind of win the game? I don't know. Was I supposed to just look for a hate card? Maybe. Maybe we should just go to the next game. We haven't seen the combo. Right? We haven't seen the combo. Just Shaman. Shaman into Kozlek, Kozlek. Double Titans, huh? Maybe I should have attacked there. Where's our three mana cards, huh? Where's our three mana cards? Yikes, man. Getting the short end of the stick, I feel like. Am I supposed to be mulliganing more often? If we get a Vein Ripper down, I think the game is just over. Is it not? Maybe I should be playing Demonic Tutor as well. Yeah, thinking about it, we should be playing Demonic Tutor. So many lands. Blood Moon, Demonic Tutor... Something, something... Got. I think I'm gonna be sacrificing the blood token and getting rid of this lightning bolt. Hmm. I wonder actually. Jeez. Huh. Jesus. Pick to fight an ancient vampire lord. I bestow a mighty curse. I'm surprised they didn't do it on the Blood Tithe Harvester there. Because without the vampires, it's like kind of meh, you know? We don't want to draw another 2 mana card because of Blast Zone. Hmm... 
That's not bad, actually. That's also not bad. The Death Rise Shaman is going to be dealing 4 damage total. Like damage here, and then damage there. Then we Lightning Bolt twice. Yeah, I think this game is over. Okay, they're just dead then. Yeah, a little bit of an underwhelming performance for this game because we didn't really see uh, the Soaring combo at all. Oh, would you look at that? Very interesting hand. By the way, just, just one copy of Blood Moon just keeps showing up. Just a singular copy. Berating pool. Oh, this is, um, I see. Um... I wonder if we're going to be able to get there. Oh, double stubborn denial. Ugh. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, so I need my opponent to do exactly this, right? I want you to play your initial level brawler into initial level brawler and then we're gonna put a blood moon down and you're not gonna draw land as well please one time or I'm gonna draw a bolt here it's not good jeez so many lands So many lands. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I, I think I'm dead. We drew pretty badly. Um, I think I have to get rid of the Neshova Brawler. I take four. Because if I don't get rid of the Brawler... They can just keep the hand, right? Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to get out of this, honestly. It's a pretty tall order, I'm not gonna lie. We're at two... Literally a scratch could kill us. Yep. Yeah, double... Um, double stubborn denial hand was pretty brutal, especially considering that... We didn't have any interaction spell. And we skipped uh, turn 2 as well. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Go with something like this. Dark Ritual without anything to do. Okay, this one looks promising. This one looks really promising. Um, yeah. Very cool. We just have to hope opponent um, plays a fetch land? Please? No. Wow, 
final fetch land. Okay, this might be actually it. Play a brawler. Brawler? Oh, Kavu. It's not very good of you to do that. I'm gonna lose my Ripper though. If they have a binding. I guess they have to sacrifice a Kavu. I think I'm gonna leave up a lightning bolt. I drink only the finest. House Markov grows stronger. Dollar, sure. Um, I think because we have everything set up, I think we're just going to Blood Moon here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, certainly, if you can get the Soren down early, it seems like you just kind of win the game. Same with Preacher, like, maybe we, have, we should go up to four copies of Preacher, like, this car is just so busted. I wonder if I'm supposed to be mulliganing for combo. So many lands, and they're all fetch lands as well. I'm gonna be taking too much damage. I kinda like this a little bit better. But it's still not like, like no ritual. I mean, maybe I'll draw a ritual? Question mark? Oko. Interesting. Come on. Ritual top deck, go. Ritual top deck. Well, that's still something. Okay, Tribal Flame already used. Pawn's on the last card already. Soren's about to come out. No way. Wow. Wow. That is the last card they drew. Insane. Absolutely insane. Maybe I should have played Preacher instead. Play around it. And they drew an Oko on top of that? Jesus! Okay, I mean we lost, right? Like what what are you what are you gonna do? That's insane. Insane. Man, that sucks. Losing to Oko. I mean, that's not exactly true. We we lost with stubborn denial top deck there. Darn. So close. Dark Ritual without anything to do with it. I guess we could just draw a Ripper and just play it. It's 
probably to play. Prototype. Wow. I guess I should have played the, the cause elect there. Wow. Wow. That was insane. Opponent, you are freaking insane. Yeah, well, at least we got a 4-4 out of the way. That's good at least. The beanstalk. I do wonder, should I just get rid of this? Get rid of a 4 4 so we stop taking damage. Another beanstalk. Oh. Okay. That's really nice. That's a 6-5 flyer. Another retro out. Attack, attack. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe this is, um, a Blood Moon game. I mean, I say that, but I only have one copy of it. So I think because they're playing a Up the Beanstalk, they might be playing a Neoform. Maybe. I'm just, um, speculating here. I think I'm just going to cut off Fable. I mean, I see a Dark Ritual. I'm not sure about that hand. Mm, I don't like this hand either, but I think their deck actually draws a lot, like quite a ton. If they play Neoform, they also play that um, Affinity Artifact card. So like the Bowmaster could probably like do a lot of work here. Don't tell me you have that same combo yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Twice in a row. Twice in a row. Um, it might just be double bolt. To be fair, I think it's a double bolt situation. Um, that is not good.
maybe it's not a double bolt situation. I think I'm gonna take the four here. Um, because this one is affinity, uh, this is a seven mana card. So if they draw, um, they could grab a, like an eight mana card. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this now. Neo form, I mean. And then we block this. Uh, do that again with the bowmaster lightning bolt. Maybe I should just take the four here as well. Ah, uh, they probably have some flyers as well. Oh my god. Please, and... I'm flooding as well. I need some help. I need some help. I need an adult. I need an adult. I need to get something at least playable. That's not it. That is a pretty good card. I will say. Whoa, almost attack there. Yeah, so maybe Pitting Needle is the card that I need. Oh crap. With your king. Yeah, I think I think Wild we lost this one. I don't think there's uh any card that can save us here. Yeah, Pitting Needle is gonna be pretty good. Their deck is a bit too fast for Blood Moon. Let's try this. Come on, turn one Dark Ritual combo. Let's go. Eh. No, I've been mulliganing too much. I'm kind of sick of mulliganing. They have it again. Jesus. They have it again. Yikes. Draw land as well. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Pitting needle. Let's go, Oko. So, the sick thing about this right now is that they do have a um, Baseju, but that means if they want to Baseju, then they're not playing that card as a land, right? And I need to play the Soren Plus Preacher next turn, so. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, we won. We have officially won the game. I will take it personally. Join my crusade. Nice. What a deck. All right, so we played some games. Um, actually underperformed. Actually underperformed. Um, but every time a Soren came out with a Vein Ripper, we've won every single time. It, it was just insane. Like this card, this combo just wins the game. It says win the game on turn one. And a lot of the times there's nothing you can do about it. And we've also experienced that the Vein Ripper is actually very, very good against a Field of the Dead. If you have a lot of creatures, you can just attack freely and they can't block because they lose two life. It's also symmetrical, meaning that 
it's either your opponents or your creatures dying. So if we trade, then they lose four life total per trade. I mean, it's just insane. I think the reason why the deck kind of un underperformed, there were a lot of times when Soren was in my hand, but we didn't have any relevant vampires. We just had some, you know, Blood Tithe Harvester, which is all right. There's also Gifted Aetherborn, which, was, which is okay. But there were also times when we had a Bowmaster or Deathrite Shaman, which aren't vampires. So the Soren really couldn't make use of them. So I think to fix this problem, we should probably have a Demonic Tutor in the deck. Because why not? Let's get rid of a copy of Fable. Yeah, let's get rid of a copy of a Fable. I think the Deathrite Shaman was good. I think it was really, really good. I actually didn't really like the Orcish Bowmaster. Except for the one time where we could have denied a Minx Gambu. But outside of that, I didn't really enjoy the Bowmaster too much. I think having more synergy with the Soren might go a longer way. But it could also just be luck as well. Um, we, I do kind of feel like we've been getting a little bit unlucky with um, the way we were drawing. We were drawing like four rituals or sometimes we were drawing uh, four vein rippers without Soren. Um, I think we kind of drawing a little bit backwards. So I think this deck has a potential. Hope you saw the power of the vein ripper coming down. And... I do kind of want a copy, another copy of a Blood Moon or fourth copy of a Leyline of the Void. I mean, we are playing a Dash Shock too, so maybe not. But I do kind of want another copy of a Blood Moon somehow. But as you can see, it's kind of hard to fit in. Um, Rolling Vortex is our tech versus the Omnitel. I think definitely the Bowmaster is a flex slot here. You could probably just add in more vampires, but. And sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's not. Um, especially if you draw like Deathrite Shaman, Bowmaster, Dark Ritual, Soren. Like we've been getting this exact hand a lot. Like look at this. And then we drew, um, we usually flood after. So like if you draw something like this, you know, like look at, you, you can kind of see that this is very clunky. The Soren doesn't do anything. And you just have a Deathrite Shaman with the... Um, Dark Ritual stuck in your hand, that doesn't do anything either. But if you can draw the nuts, it's kind of just kind of wins the game on its own. So, and even if you just draw Dark Ritual on its own without the Soren, you can technically ramp into Vein Ripper, right? A Deathrite Shaman, Dark Ritual, Vein Ripper, like you can get this out pretty early, right? And I think this should just kind of win on its own. It's pretty hard to deal with this card. Other than that, um, we've also been finding a lot of Oko decks today. Like, all the Oko decks just came out of the woodwork, which is really bad. Because they can steal Preacher of the Sch uh, Schism. And they can also neuter the Vein, uh, the vein Ripper as well. So, um, like, besides, like, the Sultai midrange, which is also kind of rare on its own, like, you don't really see Oko too much. Those are the kind of the weaknesses. Oko is pretty hard to deal with, but yeah, that's about it. If you can get the nuts, you kind of win the game. That's really the name of the game with this deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. And if you did, as always, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.